Hello students, welcome to the EPG Parshala. In today's lecture, we will learn about biomes, concept and classification. The learning objectives of this uh, module are what are biomes, an overview of some biome concepts, the scheme of biome classification, concept of biogeographical regions, realms, crystal ecoregions of the world, the freshwater and marine ecoregions of the world. So, the biomes are large geographical regions of earth which have characteristic types of biotic communities adapted to the climate of that regions. The biomes have developed over long periods of time during which the distribution of land masses, ocean, basins and climate zones have changed continually. The climate, geography and soil of a region determine the type of biome of a particular region. Biomes are globally distributed. They represent structurally, functionally similar vegetation units. Major biomes include the deserts, the forests, the grasslands and tundra. Each biome consists of many ecosystems in response to small differences in climate and environment. Terrestrial biomes are uh, some examples. The forest, the western Himalayan temperate forest is made up of oak and conifer forest. Deserts, the thar desert of India has a wide array of flora and fauna species. The grassland is alpine meadow in Kumau Himalaya is an example of grassland biome. Now we will discuss some biome concepts. Alexander von Humboldt in his pioneering work on plant geography found a close relationship between climate and vegetation in geographically distinct regions, showing climate similarity in similar regions. Alexander von Humboldt was a German explorer and a naturalist and his famous book Cosmos. The bioconcept as developed by Schimper in 1903 is based on the idea that similar climates consist of similar plant forms. These biome concepts are continuing. Early studies to the present, uh, the, it is the Walters genobiome concept. The land biomes of the world are controlled by climate. The Schulz ecozone concept recognizes nine ecozones which represent large regions of the geosphere. The Holdridge life zone. Uh, it is classified different biomes on the basis of both physiognomy and climate. The WWF ecoregions take into consideration climate, structure, orography. Ecoregions represent distinct biotas that are nested within the biomes and biogeographic realms. The functional biomes are classified based on three functional attributes of vegetation. In this table, the biome concepts have been explained from early studies to the present. The Walters biome concept is known as zonobiome. It is based on climate. The Schulz uh, biome concept is ecozone and it is based on climate. The whole ridge, uh, the term we use is a life zones. Again, climate is the basis for its uh, uh, existence. The WWF recognizes the biomes and ecoregions which are based on climate, structure and orography. The functional biomes of Higgins uh, again use the term biome, it is based on structure and function. So now we will uh, explain what is the Walters zone biome. The land biomes of the world are controlled by climate. Climate is the characteristic condition of the atmosphere near the earth's surface at a certain place. It is a long term weather of that area at least for 30 years. Air temperature and precipitation are most important factors determining the climate of an area. Now is the Walters climate diagram. The Walters climate diagram shows average monthly temperature and precipitation throughout the course of a year. The scale equates 20 millimeter of monthly precipitation with 10 degree centigrade in temperature. When precipitation is higher than temperature on the diagram, water is plentiful and plant production is limited primarily by temperature. 
when temperature is higher than precipitation plant production is limited by availability of water so this walters diagram shows that about 40 mm of monthly precipitation an average temperature 20 degree centigrade provides a sufficient moisture for plant growth. The Walters diagram shows the seasonal periods of water deficit and abundance and therefore allows ecologically meaningful comparisons of climates between localities. In this diagram, it is for the semi-arid regions, the climatic diagram which supports a thornwood vegetation for Jaipur in India, it shows the time of water deficit and abundance of the rainfall. In this uh, uh, table, the world has a great diversity of biomes. Uh, they have been tabulated, their climatic zones have been given. So we have the zonobiome number one, it is equatorial, high temperature and high rainfall and the biome that exists here is a tropical rainforest. The tropical climate zones have the tropical seasonal forest, the subtropical climate zones has the subtropical desert, Mediterranean type of climate zone supports woodland and shrubland, warm temperate climatic zones have the temperate evergreen forest, the numeral or moderate climate has temperate deciduous forest or frost resistant uh, forests. The continental type of the climate has temperate grassland or cold deserts. The boreal climate zone has the boreal evergreen coniferous forest which is also known as Tiaga. The polar, the very cold winter type of climate has arctic tundra and the alpine tundra. Whitaker's biome classification was given in 1975. It combines the vegetation structural characteristics and climate parameters like temperature and precipitation into a single scheme of biome distribution. In the temperate region of 20 degree to 30 degree vegetation type range from rainforest to deserts depending upon the amount of rainfall. Seasonal forest, short dry forest and scrublands have been distinguished in the range of 250 to 150 mm annual rainfall. In temperate latitudes, the vegetation has been distinguished into four types, the temperate rainforest, temperate seasonal forest, woodland and shrublands and cold deserts along the gradient of decreasing rainfall in the cold climate, that is the Aga region. The vegetation types are not distinguished on the basis of climate. At temperature below minus 5 degree, all the vegetation types are classified as tundra. Uh, so in this, uh, this is the diagram which shows the distribution of vegetation types as a function of annual temperature on x-axis and precipitation on the y-axis. So if we see the temperature range of 20 degree to 30 degree, we can distinguish the tropical rainforest biome, tropical seasonal forest biome, thorn forest, savanna and thorn scrub. Now we look at the temperate latitude. In the temperate latitudes, we have the temperate rainforest, temperate forest, woodland, grassland and shrublands. In the cold climate, it is the Tiaga biome which is predominant at temperature minus 5 degree it is the uh, tundra type of biome that occurs. Whole ridge life zone classification. Whole ridge in 1967 based his classification of the world life zones or plant formations on the basis of three climatic factors that is heat, precipitation and moisture. There are 39 life zones based on three climatic parameters that is biotemperature, mean alone precipitation and potential evapotranspiration. Potential evapotranspiration is the amount of evaporation that would occur if water were not limited. Annual precipitation is rain or snow. Biogeography is the study of animal and plant distributions on earth in relation to environmental factors such as geology, climate and soils. Biogeographic regions or realms 
refer to a region that shares similar species with similar biogeographic history. It helps to understand evolutionary and geological factors that contributed to the regional pattern of biodiversity. Udwardis biogeographical realms and provinces, the hierarchy of the scheme is we have the first the biogeographical realms biogeographical regions and sub-regions with 8 categories, biogeographical province, biotic province with 193 categories, each characterized by a major biome or biome complex. There are 14 total biomes. The recognition of 8 terrestrial biogeographical regions of the world is a combination of two approaches, physiognomic and biogeography according to Edward in 1975. The physical structure of the dominant vegetation and distinctive flora and fauna compositions defines the boundaries. Ecoregions are classified within a system comprised of biogeographic limbs and biomes. Biogeographical regions of the world. This diagram shows different biogeographical regions of the world which are Palarctic Relim, Nearctic Relium, Afrotropical Relium, Indo-Malayan Relium, Oceanic Relium, Australian Relium, Neotropical and Arctic Relium. In this table, the terrestrial biogeographic reliums of the world have been tabulated. The Palearctic Relium includes Eurasia and Northern Africa. Nearctic Relium has North America, Greenland and the highlands of Mexico. Afrotropical Relium includes Africa, south of Sahara Desert, Indo-Malayan Relium, Southern and Southeast Asia, Oceanic Relium, Pacific Ocean Islands of Micronesia, Fijian Island, most of the Polynesia, Australian Relium, Australian Relium has Australia, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea and neighboring islands. The Antarctic Relium is composed of Antarctica, Neotropical Relium is comprised of Central and South America, the Mexican lowlands, the Caribbean islands and Southern Florida. Terrestrial ecoregions of the world according to Olson et al. 2001 have subdivided the terrestrial world into 14 biomes such as forests, grasslands, deserts and 8 biogeographical reliums. Nested within 14 biomes are 867 ecoregions. The ecoregions represent distinct biotas that are nested within the biomes and realms. Ecoregions represent broad habitat and vegetation types and span across biogeographic realms. The terrestrial ecoregions of the world, the scheme of organization is like this, biogeographical realm with 8 categories biome with 14 types. Uh, this uh, uh, diagram shows the global distribution of 14 biomes and 8 biogeographical realms. The, some of the biomes in this diagram are tropical, subtropical, moist, broadleaf forests, temperate broadleaf and mixed forests, boreal forests, temperate grasslands, mountain grasslands and Mediterranean forests. So, I am reading only a few examples of the biomes and there are 8 biogeographical reliefs as already been explained earlier. In this diagram we see the earth's distribution of the earth's 867 terrestrial ecoregions. The map of terrestrial ecoregions of the world recognizes 867 distinct units. These areas have been considered like ecological neighborhoods with similar habitats according to all central 2001. Yeah. Freshwater ecoregions of the world, the freshwater ecoregions are based on the distributions and compositions of freshwater fishes according to Abel et al. 2008. These ecoregions can serve as a useful tool for global and regional conservation planning efforts. The freshwater ecoregions contains 426 units covering all known marine parts of the earth excluding Antarctica, Greenland and some other small islands. There is a large variation in the area of individual ecoregions. The marine ecoregions of the world 
a nested system of 12 regions, 62 provinces and 232 eco-regions. The functional classification of biomes, Higgins et al. in 2016 have classified biomes based on three functional attributes of vegetation. The first vegetation productivity index based on the normalized difference vegetation index and DBI whether the minimum of vegetation activity is in the driest or coldest part of the year, vegetation height estimated from the satellite data, functional classification of biomes. This new biome classification scheme can be used for synthesizing data to analyze patterns of biome change observed over recent decades, monitoring global vegetation change analyzing drivers of vegetation change and for benchmarking models of terrestrial ecosystem functions. To conclude, the biome classification is based on primarily climatic factor. The different schemes of biome classification include climate zone approach, which is known as zonobiomes of Walter, the vegetation approach given by Whitaker, whole ridge life zone classification and WWF ecoregions. Biomes are useful to provide organizing principles for describing the functioning of world's ecosystems and the role of these ecosystems for earth system function. Thank you.